Finance guru Martin Lewis has sounded the alarm for state pensioners born on or before September 1957. With the discontinuation of the winter fuel payment affecting numerous British households, he discussed the serious repercussions in his podcast on BBC Sounds and through the Money Saving Expert portal. The Money Saving Expert website explained the change, until now, winter fuel payments worth up to £300 have been made available to everyone above state pension age, most recently, this included those born on or before September 24, 1957. Reacting to the advice from Mr Lewis, there was widespread anger among readers. A vexed reader remarked, you're right, as a benefits advisor there are quite a high percentage of people who are just a few pounds over being eligible for pension credit and as such living on the breadline. Another suggested, surely Terry's a compromise where it's either automatic if you get pension credit or apply for it if household income less than say £25,000? I agree that the current system where very rich pensioners get it is unfair and unsustainable, but Terry's better ways of doing it. One senior citizen shared their struggle, am on a pension and have a small private pension. Am over the threshold so I now pay tax. No way does the total even reach anywhere near the standard yearly wage income. I still have to pay for food, clothing and other bills. I get free bus travel and prescriptions. Whoopee! Alice Hain, personal finance analyst at Best Invest by Eveline Partners, has voiced concern regarding Chancellor Rachel Reeves' abrupt move to end universal winter fuel payments for pensioners, warning it could leave many in the cold. She remarked, Chancellor Rachel Reeves' shock decision to scrap winter fuel payments for all pensioners risks leaving some of the most vulnerable people without heating in the colder winter months. Under the existing policy, pensioners born before September 25, 1957 were eligible for up to £300, but with Reeves' new rule, only those on benefits will receive the payment, reports Birmingham Live. She added, under current rules, these payments of up to £300 were paid to all pensioners born before September 25, 1957 but Reeves has now stipulated that the universal payment will be restricted to those receiving benefits. The withdrawal of this vital support will apply from this winter, meaning many who may have budgeted their finances carefully, expecting to receive the payment this year will now miss out. When you consider pensioners were already in line to receive less as this winter is the first without the £300 cost of living winter fuel top up, the latest news will come as a blow at a time when many people's finances are only just beginning to recover from the days of sky high inflation. Alice remarked, while it is understandable that the wealthiest members of society do not need to receive an extra sum to cover their fuel bills. Limiting this payment to the poorest pensioners could make life difficult for those only just managing. Energy bills have eased dramatically this year, with the energy price cap, EPC, currently set at £1,568 until the end of September almost £1,000 below the energy price guarantee introduced by the former government, set at £2,500, which ran from autumn 2022 until the end of June 2023 to help consumers cope with sky-high bills. The EPC is expected to rise 10% on October 1st and remain high throughout the winter, which means energy bills will still be almost double pre-crisis levels making them unaffordable for many. She added, unlike workers who can take on extra work to cover a shortfall, pensioners are typically on fixed income so have to budget with the set amount they receive from their state pension and private pension. Only giving the payment to those on benefits could put many whose income sit just above that level at risk during the colder months because they cannot afford to put the heating on.